Okay, so now that I have a page made, how do I actually get it on the real World Wide Web uh, without just previewing it in a browser? And uh, the answer is we can do it two ways. We can save it directly on our W drive or we could FTP, and I described that in a previous tutorial. If I'm doing it all directly on my W drive, which I could do if I'm at Missouri s and is um, in that case, the most crucial thing is that every file that I manipulate, the HTML files, the image files, etc., they're all on that W drive. If they're not, they may look right on your local machine, but they won't look right on the web. And uh, similarly, if you're using FTP, every file that you use the image files, video files, and of course the HTML files, they have to be on the local folder, the fol folder that you define to represent your site. And I'm using FTP, it's what I usually use, I'm using it right now, and so one way I can tell that the files that I'm working with are all inside this folder is that when I select this site up here, and when you do that, it actually shows the information. But when I select this site, <clears throat> it shows all the folders and files and stuff associated with it. And in fact, if you try to add an image to that file, for example, and that image is outside of your site, and you're doing it inside Dreamweaver, it'll give you a warning and ask you if you want to copy it inside the site. Okay, so I'm ready to transfer this stuff over with FTP. If I'm using it on my W drive, every time I save it, it's already on the web. So I don't have to transfer. But say I'm using FTP, like I'm, I usually do. Um, so I've got everything set up. And it's in my, this represents tilde R hall. So at the highest level, this, uh, when I type in tilde mst.edu slash tilde r hall, what it does is it looks for an index file. And if it doesn't find it, it'll just display all the folders. So um, this is actually my index file. And this shows it in Dreamweaver, and it looks really bad uh, because Dreamweaver can't represent certain things. Um, but in any case, if I go to mst.edu slash tilde our hall. Um, here's what it looks like. Looks a, looks a little bit better. Then if we go back to, to Dreamweaver, um, let's say uh, inside, of course, this main highest level, I have this folder called sample, and that's where I've been working. So inside sample, I really just have one, I have two files, because I made, I made a copy of this index file, called it Richard, because I want to illustrate a point, but I have only these two files in here, but they make references to image files that are elsewhere. Uh, and in fact, uh, just to illustrate a point, let's go, I'm going to go to the web, and I'm going to look in this folder uh, called images, it's on the remote view. And I'm going to delete these files, just to illustrate a point. This is the one called MST image. Uh, do you really want to delete it? Yes. Top left, yes. Top logo, yes. Don't try this at home, kids, because it could mess up your page. But uh, And in fact, if I look at my main page, it's going to be missing some, see it's missing now some images. But in any case, it's the same images that are referenced on my page, um, the, my sample page. But if I go then to uh, the local view where I've been working, and I go down here into the sample folder, and I'm going to move over. This is the file right here, Richard. So just to show you, if I double click on Richard, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to move Richard over to uh, the sample folder. Now, first of all, let's illustrate. If I type sample slash r hall sample there's it's going to say there's no page it's no such page because although it's on my hard drive it's not on the web so i'm going to click on richard and i'm going to move it over and it says put dependent files so dreamweaver smart and it says well you know what um, actually there's image files attached to this html file and if you don't move those over to the web it's not going to work but i'm going to pretend like i don't know all that so i'm going to say put dependent files i'll say no we'll just put the html file so now what happens if i type sample um, let's see 
I type MST EDU slash tilde R hall and then I say slice sample. Well, what's really interesting here is it shows a list of files. On most servers, it wouldn't even let you, it would tell you you aren't um, authorized to view this page because you don't know the exact address. But in Missouri s and the server, it's more forgiving and it says, well, here's the folder sample. Um, we don't have an index file to show you, so we'll just show you what files are there. And we say, well, there's Richard. So now you can see the reference sa sample slash, slash Richard HTML. But notice my pictures aren't there, so it's very sad, even though they show up here um, in my on Richard on Dreamweaver, because those are referencing my hard drive. Okay, so what I have to do is I could have clicked include um, dependent files, but what I can also do, just to show you how this works, I can go to the images folder, and each of these I can move over to the web. And by the way, I guess you have seen already the way you move stuff over the web which is the important part of this tutorial is you click this little arrow up above and it means put files it means put files on the web and you can by the way when you're on your remote view you can get files off the web so you go to, go to remote view find a file and then you say um, up here you click this arrow which says get file but we're back on the local view we got MST image um, uh, top left, these other files. I know these are ones that we're using. I'm, and I'm going to move all three of those over to the web. So I say put. Dreamweaver shows me this little thing. It's putting the files. Now it should have put them. So now if I go back here to my sample, Richard HTML, it works. But we still have the issue. So like for your assignment, you're supposed to just type the folder and it's supposed to go directly there. I shouldn't have to type HTML anything. And it shouldn't just show a list of files. And that's because, that's so what you need is a file that's called index. And it's different on different servers, but most traditionally you just call the file index.something and it will automatically show up when you type a folder name. So inside say, the sample folder, I have this exact same thing, this exact same file that I named index. And so let's put the index over. So now I'll say no. No dependent files because they're already over there. I don't need them. So now if I type just sample, tilde r hall sample, do refresh, there you go. So that's how the index page works and that's how you put stuff on the web.